Yeah, and I think when we talked to you last, you mentioned staying healthy, right? You stay healthy all through the spring, all through fall camp, leading up to the first week. I guess what's been the key to that? What would you attribute your, your healthiness to this offseason? I'll say um, just taking advantage of treatment and recovery. Um, when the coaches give us opportunity, like at practice, when we have like, not like hard days, more like latter days, like just take advantage of those, so. What have you seen out of these, this freshman this year's class, um, the three of them, and just how have they developed since they've gotten here? Um, I'll say just curiosity, like all of them like want to learn and like better themselves, even though days don't go how they want them to be. So just like them like eager to learn and just play. Yeah, Coach Smart yesterday said he thought that you guys are thin at wide receiver. I just want to hear your thoughts on that. Say it again. Kirby said yesterday that you guys are thin at the wide wide receiver position. I just want to hear your thoughts on that. Um, just, just the load, the banging, um, the Tuesday practices, the hitting of practice. Just we take like really a lot of ownership in blocking on the perimeter. So I'll say just all the banging and stuff. Like people get dinged up, so. We've heard a good bit this uh, fall camp about Makai. Uh, what, what stands out about him? What makes him such a, a dangerous receiver? I really say his engine. Like he has a engine. Like he can go, 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 and just play multiple, really every position. So I'll really just say his like versi like versatility, versatility, and, like the way he can like change positions and move around. Just speaking of versatility, it seems like you've got a lot of different guys as receivers. You get guys like Marcus, fast guys, slot guys, like like Muse. Just how? How, um, you know, how much does that versatility help the offense and what, what is that going to look like on Saturdays with so many different guys being able to rotate in and out? It helps in the sense as like us going fast, like tempo plays, it's like not having to move to like other side. So just stay on the same side and know the position, know what you got to do um, when the play's called. Having been through a fall camp with Carson, what, what gives y'all confidence going into the season and him as QB1? Just like, like dependability. Like I can depend on him to know what to do know like where the ball's gonna be, just like things like that. So we've heard about Julian Humphrey having good speed, but we all know about your speed. Can can he stay with you as good as uh, some of the you know other guys back there? And you know what's it like to go up against him? Um, I say yes. Most of the cornerbacks are pretty got like good speed and like can play and keep up with most of the receivers. So yeah. What's this game like? Have you seen much improvement from him last season? Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like everybody's improving on the team in some sense. Yeah, with you, you know, being healthy, you know, able to go through this fall camp, you know, we know you so much for your speed and your ability to go deep, but how much is that, you know, you're on the practice field, you're able to actually develop, you know, working on those intermediate routes, those other aspects of the game, as opposed to not spending all that time rehabbing and trying to recover? Can you repeat the question again? Yeah, just because of the fact that you are healthy and you've been able to go through a fall camp without any sort of injury there, how has that allowed you to develop other aspects of your game? Um, it's allowed me to play, get reps, I'll say. Just like just because I'm healthy today, don't mean I won't be hurt tomorrow. You can't take nothing for like granted. So, I mean, we just talked about Julian Humphrey there. You know, we've heard plenty of names of guys like Nylon Green, um, Dalen Everett, even AJ Harris. Kind of different names across this cornerback competition. Who through practice would you say kind of challenged you the most, or made you work the hardest, especially in those one-on-one -on -one reps? I wouldn't say like. Like one like individual person has like really challenged me. I, I feel like the whole uh, DB group as a whole was good and like challenged all the receivers. I remember a couple of few days ago you had that big play with Carson. Uh, what's your relationship been like with Carson since he's been in the program? What's it like for you to see him get this opportunity? Me and Carson's relationship's been good because obviously we're the same class. We both got recruited recruited at the same time and we're from the same state. So I feel like our relationship has grew more than what it was. Guys like you, CJ Smith, uh, Z Haynes, guys like that. Is this? Would you say this is the fastest re receiver group that, that has been in Georgia since you've been here? Mm, that's hard to tell. I mean, we've had a lot of good receivers come through, a lot of good receivers leave and go to the draft. But I feel like I feel like we're a good group. We're fast. Like we're athletes. You're a 10 second, 100 meter runner. But was there ever a point in your career as a football player where a coach was like, Aaron, we got to slow down? You're running this route too fast. It, it requires a little bit more pace and nuance. Oh yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a time when coach like slow down, Aaron. Like we're in a walkthrough. I'm like slow down. I'm like <laughs> so yeah.
you know, I feel like we've heard a lot about the heat recently through these various practices, and I know this is the first one that you went through and you had to deal with probably one of the hottest ones. I mean, how was the heat for you? How were you dealing with it, and how did it affect you? I mean, it was definitely tough. I mean, it affected me, like, just being hot, like, just keeping, like, the um, focus down there at practice, because I'm from, like, Florida. It's hot there, so I'm used to the heat, and I love it, really. Obviously, being from Lakeland, Tyler, the freshman here from Lakeland, but was there a pre-existing relationship between you and him? And if so, what's, what's that been like having him back on campus here? Um, yes, kind of, only because like, re like I was reaching out to him. To Say again? He's two years younger than you. Yeah. Um, no, he's four years younger. Oh, wow. three, three. I'll say yeah. It was like kind of relationship there because I mean, obviously, like he's like in high school dealing with like his senior year, and I'm here like doing what I gotta do, like school and football. So. I mean, I've reached out to him a couple of times, like with like helping with like recruiting and stuff. So there was a relationship there. What's the, in general? Can you just talk about what the transition is like going into game week? You know, you guys have been grinding pretty hard, really, going all the way back to January. Now you're getting into a game week, and it, 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 these count. So uh, what's what's the feeling heading into this game, whether it be against UT Martin or Clemson? I feel like it's a change of mindset, like. Like just like I said, like when camp, so when fall camp started, it's a change of mindset. Like, you get that dog mindset. Like no matter who we play, like what we what we do, what the coaches like tell us to do, we're gonna just attack it and do our best. You know, we've seen a few running backs go down with a couple injuries here, here and there, um, especially recently. Uh, but we've also seen you take the ball, you know, and whether it's end arounds and stuff like that. We talked to Brock Bowers the other day about maybe using him as a running back in a certain sense. Are what do you feel about possibly kind of taking on a little bit more of uh, using that versatility and taking a few more end arounds a game maybe than you would typically? I feel good about it. I mean, whatever coach or the coaches want me to do, I'm going to do it. So I feel good about whatever they tell me to do. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Aaron. <laughs>